transformation, Antonio. So now you're going to show us how to take gas station flowers or grocery store flowers and make it look like you shopped at a top florist. Exactly, exactly. You know, it's great when you can pick up a bouquet of flowers at a convenient location yes. and just take the bouquet and sort of break it apart and fill your a whole home. So Absolutely. that's what I'm going to show you here, here how to do. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take apart your bouquet and you're going to spread it out and you're going to find all the things that you don't like about the bouquet. Yes. Things like this. Like sometimes you get a bouquet and it's got like a rose that's like wilted. You don't want that in, no. in your arrangement. And then sometimes they have this like dried fruit that's been spray painted <laughs> and it's like aged like 10 years. You don't want that in your no. bouquet. So you just want to like sort of get rid of those. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to find some greenery. You could go to another floral shop, a grocery store, or you could maybe even find some in your own garden. Yes. Okay. Now the first arrangement I'm going to do is I'm going to take a simple cylindrical vase, which are great for flowering and arranging, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to put some tape over top of it to create a grid to hold everything in place, which we all know how to do. Very nice. We have showed this um, before on the show. It's spring. Everyone's going to be dealing with flowers. Exactly. But it's nice to see it done in different vases, in different ways, using different uh, using different florals. So you're going to use the green first. I'm going to use the green. Now, the great thing about using greenery is that it's oftentimes cheaper than buying bouquets oh, of yes. flowers so Big and they time. oftentimes last like twice the length so what you want to first do is sort of create like this border around it and mm -hmm. put all your greenery in and then what you can do is you can put in your statement colors yeah now when I do this sort of thing I'd like to be a little bit more casual I don't want to be so stressed about it totally. being centered or what have you yeah. but you know the tape do definitely does help and then you're gonna fill it all out and then you're gonna get something like this look at that and this is the secret this is how the flowers all stay exactly, up right it's exactly. the tape so I've used only the yellows that came in of the bouquet and I've used I've saved the other flowers for smaller arrangements that I'm going nice. to show you now. So what you could do is you could take the sort of the small sprigs mm -hmm. out of branches like this and don't be afraid to cut them down. Oh that's cute. So what I've done is I've used uh, spice containers oh. and a chopping board and I've just cut them down short and arranged them and I like the way these are all sort of tilted to one direction it kind of yes. gives it a little bit of movement. This, you know what, if you did, if you had a huge cutting board, this could be your centerpiece. Exactly. If you're having people over, people can talk over it. Exactly. It's beautiful. You've done it in multiples. It's a great idea. And if you don't have something like this, what you can do is you can sort of group like or similar shaped vases together yes. and do sort of smaller arrangements. Yeah, I love it. Okay. So now for the smaller arrangements, when you might still have a little bit more left over, which, it, which would be great, yeah. you want to sort of divide it up and make some more bouquets. I mean, you're going to fill your entire home, Tracy. Mm -hmm. So this is a box that I've had for a long time. I've loved this box. I liked it because of the graphic design. I like it because of the matte black. It's actually a box meant to hold a candle. Oh, okay. And so what I've done is I've taken it apart mm -hmm. and I've created two little um, arrangements. So I've taken this one here and I've placed it inside here. Oh, nice. And I like the way the matte black is nice and sort of industrial looking yeah. and it softens it up with the flowers. And this is just another little arrangement I made in a plastic container. Yeah. And I'm going to put this one in this that container. That is gorgeous. Look at that. How easy is that? I have a question for you. Yeah. Do you recognize anything in this bouquet? This you can eat. Is this, this kale? Can, this is kale. Oh, get the kids to eat. Exactly. Eat your kale, kids. So if you don't have greenery to buy, you mm -hmm. can go out and get some more. Now, this is one little arrangement. I love this one. Smallest one, a creamer. Okay. And this one, I've actually just put some roses in. And this is dill. Oh, and nice. it lends itself to that look of roses. Yes. Now I want to show you one little more trick on how to create a little frog. So before okay. you throw out your last coffee cup, yeah. you're going to take your coffee cup and you're going to cut sort of, I've got a little bit of kale in my mouth. I oh, know, me too. It tastes a little different this early in the morning. Um, <laughs> You're going to cut it down so you're going to have something like this shape. Okay. okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to take some marbles and put it in on the bottom, just a few of them. Yeah. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take some toothpicks, and I've got these fancy toothpicks, I don't know why, but you're going to take some toothpicks <laughs> and you're going to poke it through the cup. The holes. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have like a webbed little formation. So what you can do is you can anchor that yeah. into your container. And that's going to help hold the flowers together. Oh, okay. that's such a good idea. You're not going to see it. And yeah. um, I mean, it gives it weight with the marbles. Yes. And the toothpicks are just crisscrossing one another. So you can really see how the roses and the flowers are just going to hold in place. Very good. So, and I mean, a lot of these ideas I had not thought of before, especially using the herbs, which yes. we always have too much of. Yes. Use them in your floral, uh, floral arrangements as well. Thank right. you so much for that.